Welcome to WeLuck. This video will have you on the edge of your seat as it features tense close calls and head scratching choices. There isn't much time left, let's get it on! Immediately call emergency services such as 911 or the local authorities to report the situation, people. This is the same case. Always be prepared for the unexpected actions of other drivers, guys. The dash cam owner handled that situation really well. Good job, bro. The police did their job of keeping the public away. Well done, crew. Oh my, what should we do when a vehicle loses control? Glad he's fine. He's okay. Whoops. The result of tailgating and inattention. Keep a safe distance, dude. Oh, perhaps who was driving the Aventador probably didn't look at the temperature gauge, not even the oil pressure. A $600,000 Lamborghini Aventador SV Roadster. Fortunately, nobody was entangled in this mess. Don't back up without looking at all. It's scary. That's not cool. Nobody wants to dodge objects on the highway. Who knew bumper-to-bumper -bumper traffic could be so hazardous? Be careful, people. The truck had a punctured tire while traveling on the highway. The driver is okay. Hydroplaning is no joke. Oh, who is at fault? Let me know your opinion in the comments below. Looks like someone didn't get the memo on keeping a safe following distance. Take caution, dude. Oh dear. Folks, take care of your car and it'll take care of you. I will never understand why people do such things. Very appreciative police doing. Keep your hands where I can see them. If you put your hands down, I will shoot you. This happened at the I-35 South off uh, to the right turn into the 75th Street in Merriman, wow. Kansas. Uh, are you okay? Okay. <sighs> All of them are safe. When you see a truck slowing down with his indicator on and the cars behind it slowing, think about it.
Hey, bro. Stop signs are there for a reason. What a nightmare. Pray that he is fine. Don't forget the parking brake, folks. Whoops. Peace, mate. Stay patient and stay safe, you guys. Safety first, always. Keep your eyes on the road, mate. Are you kidding me? Don't do that. It happened on off-ramp I-80 at Douglas Boulevard, Roseville, California. A classic hit and run. Don't do this, mate. Let's like and subscribe so that you don't miss any of our next videos, guys. If you enjoy our video, leave a comment below with the number one. No, don't cut off the wrong big rig. Hmm, I hope this person returns later. Another case of loose cargo causing chaos on the highway. That's why it's crucial to secure your cargo. Um, maybe don't park the car with its front end sticking into the street. Ah, he's sliding. Hats off to that trucker. He handled that slide very well. Oh, there's a propane truck there. Please stop, please stop, please stop. Oh, God. Oh, no. As I see it, the problem was that he was looking at the traffic light instead of the traffic in front of him. That is so scary. Pay attention, mate. This was in Kyle, Texas, just south of Austin. If you're gonna pull out in front of someone, at least speed up. Asshole. What? He doesn't know what right turn only means. Whoops, I bet a combination of cheap tires and about 20 kilometers too fast. A dash cam video shows the multi-vehicle pileup that closed down a snowy Interstate 70. Not a good one. And he was staring at you for going too slow. Yeah, he was yeah. mad at me for going too slow. Oh, oh yeah. this is good. Yep. Yeah. 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 Hope someone gets that guy who carelessly caused the wreck. Wow, that's one beautiful pick. Thank you to the officer doing a great job. I'll call it. Be patient, mate. When lights and arms come down, stop. Always securely tie or attach goods to a good vehicle to prevent their falling off from the vehicle. Kudos to motorcycles for being good citizens. 
CPS Trooper dash cam shows Aguila Maduros, semi-truck speeding by before getting into trouble. To figure out where the sound originated, I had to watch it twice. Anyway, all of them are fine. That incident cost the employee his job. He, of all people, should have known better. Everyone is okay. Canadian Pacific freight train cars derailed in Franklin Park. No injuries were reported and no hazardous materials were released. The tracks were cleared in hours. I believe the insurance payment will go more smoothly thanks to the dash cam. Wow, the driver is safe and very lucky to be alive. They were both able to walk away from it without too many issues. totaled his truck when this guy drove into his lane. The guy admitted to being on his phone in the police report. A speeding truck in a construction zone locks up brakes. There were no injuries and no collisions. If you overtake it carelessly, you will be in the truck's blind spot. Stay off the right side of the truck. Oh my, this guy was going too fast. Speed up according to weather, bro. No way, did he fall asleep or is he drunk? Hope he has good insurance. Not sure how this cement is transported, but I damn hope it is not wet cement. The road is going to be so uneven and probably too unsafe for bikers. Everyone, always on your guard, stay alert. Slow moving traffic doesn't mean nothing will happen. Well, the maximum fine for this can be $2,200. Where's he going? A truck changes lanes but fails to check before changing lanes. And it looks like the truck can't brake in time and swerve to avoid collision with a front car. Not sure if rule 8 applies here. It is bad parking. Well, I think he needs to invest in a better quality dash cam. Let's use it as a reference. Whatever your speed, you always have to consider the possibility of falling. He is okay. Let's drive cars and bikes safely, folks. No one was hurt. Oh my, how can they get a driver's license? Probably this is the least expensive way to learn the lessons of looking before backing up and having awareness of what's in front of you that they could learn. Don't you know? oh, A 
gray Honda Civic swerved into the lane to avoid having to stop behind traffic. Both pulled over at the first safe location to do so and exchanged information. This is the reason not to run a red light, folks. Stopping at red lights makes you get to your destination sooner, trust me. Glad there were no injuries. Don't do this, bro. Bravo! How great the guy's reflexes were. That is so close. Fortunately, there were no collisions. Ugh, the parking spot is not narrow, but the pathway is really narrow. Hope you may contact security to see if they got clear images of the Rigo. If you're transporting bricks or other materials in a vehicle, ensure they are properly secure. Use ropes, straps, or tie downs. The other driver admitted fault to his insurance. The estimate to repair the Nissan Xterra is $1,200. Let's like and subscribe so that you don't miss any of our next videos, guys. If you enjoy our video, leave a comment below with the number one. Well, at least it didn't go through her windshield. Glad she had the dash cam. Distribute the weight from your belongings evenly inside the caravan. Avoid overloading it, especially with heavy items. Ah, if you're unsure whether it's safe to reverse, have someone assist you. Oh my! What do you suppose is causing the smoke? That's terrifying. I hope this never happens to anyone else. guy did a nice thing when he honked more. Oh no, don't cut off like that. This is the same case. How did he get a driver's license? The engineer saw the truck stuck from far and could slow down the speed, but not in time to stop. At least nobody got hurt. Report any problem to the relevant authorities right away. Remain away from the crossing until the issue has been fixed.
When driving, gaze forward. When stopping, glance back. Be alert, folks. It could be worse than this. Fortunately, there were no collisions. When you see that red light, hit the brakes. Remember, red means stop, not rev up and roar through. Glad you made it out safe, man. As the guy on the motorcycle, I wouldn't overtake there. This happened in Ontario, Canada. Document exchange after the incident and everyone went their separate ways. Hmm, I think the road looks big enough for a give way sign. In this case, I would slow down, although I have the right of way. Listen to your body and acknowledge when you're too tired to drive safely. It's better to delay your journey than to risk an incident due to drowsy driving. Ensure that all cargo, especially heavy and potentially hazardous items like steel coils, are securely fastened and properly secured. These events took place in Hillsborough County, Florida. This trooper made my day a good example to all the others. It was filmed in Morris, Alabama, USA. Maybe the trucker was inexperienced. Who is at fault? You decide. Probably best just submitting it to insurance if the damage warrants and letting them handle it. That's an expensive failure. It's a nice Rolls Royce ghost. The taxi failed to maintain a safe distance. Always follow the three second rule, everyone. You know, I've seen a lot of this lately. Driving down the road by my place on completely flat tires. Oh no, don't look in mirrors at all. Pay attention, mate. Big signs must be too difficult for this driver. Wow, thankfully there were no injuries. This was captured on this guy's dash cam on US 165 in Louisiana. The timestamp is incorrect. The correct date was November 12, 2020. Thankfully, two passengers escaped minutes before the train collided into the vehicle in Lansing, Michigan. High speeds make it more difficult to control the vehicle, especially when navigating sudden obstacles. Excellent driving skills. 
The truck driver was probably distracted for a moment and then went into trouble on the curve downhill. What is going on? At least they're okay. I really don't get how he could make such a mistake. I strongly advise to look in the mirrors to check. Almost certainly control confusion. Perhaps he hit the gas instead of the brake trying to stop in a rush. After honking his horn, flashing lights to no avail, this is what he did when two slower trucks blocked his way for several minutes. For car drivers, the intelligent thing would have been to fade back, giving them plenty of time and distance to observe. I got instructed to drive defensively during a mandatory driving course I attended. Stay safe out there, folks. Man, cops hate this one trick. Thank you for watching videos from start to finish. Share your favorite moment in the comments below. If you've enjoyed this video, please show your appreciation by hitting the like button and subscribing to our channel. See you next video.